Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this propped cantilever beam. In this beam, there is a clockwise concentrated movement to 16 kilonewton meter. It acts at a distance of 4 meter from the left support. The span of the beam is given as 6 meter. Now let us find the degree of static indeterminacy. In this beam, the number of unknown reactions and moments are 3. The available equilibrium equations are 2. The degree of static indeterminacy will be 3 minus 2. So that it will be 1. From the point B, let us release RB. When we release RB, the point B becomes a free end. We know the formula to find RB minus delta L upon delta. To find both of them, let us use unit load method. In the unit load method, we have to make sections. In this beam, there are two different parts, BC and CA. So we have to make two sections, one in BC and one in CA. You can see that I have made two sections, one in BC and one in CA. I have made both of the sections at a distance of x from the point B. Now let us make a table. In the table, first let us enter the members. We know that there are two members, BC and CA. Let us enter both of them. For both of the sections, the origin is B. The limit for BC is 0 to 2. For CA, it is 2 to 6. Now we are going to find the movement M from the point B. In this case, we have to follow left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. Let us find the movement in PC. Up to this section, there is no load, so the movement will be zero. Now let us find the movement in CA. Up to this section, we have only the movement 2 and 6. It is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. Now let us find the moment small m. For that we have to remove all of the loads from the beam and to apply unit load in the direction of RB. Up to both of the sections we have only the unit load. About both of the sections it is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distances are x. 1 into x, it will be x. Let us apply that. Now let us find delta L. The formula is integration of mm upon ea dx. Using the formula, we can find delta L. Let us find delta. The formula is integration of m square upon ea dx. Using the formula, we will get 72 upon ea. In this formula, we have found both of them. Let us apply them. In this way for RB, we will get 48 kilonewton. Now let us find RA. In this beam, there is no load. So the values of RA and RB will be same. But they will be in the opposite directions. RB is acting in the upward direction. So RA should be acting in the downward direction. Now let us take movement about A and to find MA, RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6. So 48 into 6, the moment 2 and 6 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. Let us assume that MA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. Finally, for MA, we will get a positive value. That means our assumption is correct. Here you can see the shear force diagram. Now let us find the bending moment in the point A. Here we can use right hand side rule because it will be easy. In the point A, we have MA which is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive. To find the bending moments in the point C, we can use the left hand side rule. Let us find the bending moment at just right of C. 
RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6. Now let us find the bending moment at just left of C. With this value we have to add the moment 216. Since it is acting in the clockwise direction, it should be applied as negative. 96 minus 216, we will get minus 120. Here you can see the bending moment diagram. In this point, the bending moment becomes 0. We can make a section in this point and find the distance. You can see that in that point, I have made a section at a distance of x from the point A. We know that in this section the moment is 0. Using that concept we can find x which is 1.5. Let us apply that. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.